Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel. I have been MIA for a little bit. I've been doing a lot of traveling, but now I am back in action and I have so many tutorials coming your way, starting with this one. If you'd like to see how I got this look, then please just keep watching. Okay, starting off here with the Smashbox Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer, I'm just going to be taking this, putting it all over the lids, and blending it out with a Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. For the palette today, I'm using the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. Absolutely love this. I'm taking the shade Beaches and Cream just to set my eyeshadow primer. Jumping back into the palette, I'm taking the shades Sora and Frappe on a blending brush and I'm just going to be putting this right into the crease and I'm just being pretty messy with it. I'm not being too precise with this look today. And now back into the palette, I'm just taking a bit of the shade, uh, no, not Sora, sorry, Mars, and I'm just putting this on a different blending brush, and I'm taking a very little bit at a time because a little of this color goes a very long way. And the key with this look is just to blend, 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 and you see I grab another clean brush just to blend it out even more so there's no harsh lines. Back to the palette, I'm taking the shade Artemis and I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone with this. This is just a brush I got from an Ipsy bag a while ago. Back into the palette, I'm just taking the shade Luna on a shader brush and I'm just putting this all over my lid. And then I decide that I want this also in the crease, so I'll be picking it up on a, um, what are those called? Blending brushes and I'm going to be putting that in the crease as well. I love a shimmery crease. And I'm just going to be blending that all over. If you're someone who always does matte or li really likes a matte crease, you totally don't have to do this. I just love a shimmery crease. Back into the palette, I'm taking Artemis again. And I'm just going to be putting this on the front of my eyelid there. And a little bit in my uh, inner corner. Just to give a little more dimension to the look. Back to the palette, I'm now taking just some more Luna and I'm just blending that in. And then I decide to go into Cosmopolitan because why not and put some of that into my crease too. I'm just taking the Bomb Schwing Liquid Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to be doing a really thin line of eyeliner across my lash line there. I'm not winging it out or anything today and I'm keeping it about as thin as I can. I just wanted to put it there because I am going to be going in with falsies so this just helps hide the band. Going in with the Maybelline Last Sensational, I'm just going to be using this to do a thin coat of mascara on my upper lashes. I will be putting falsies on and I do it off camera. I'm just using the Red Cherry Wisp Lashes. For bronzer today, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to be taking the warmer toned uh, center bronzer and I'm just going to be bronzing up my whole face with this. As you can see, this palette has been through it. I absolutely love it. I totally recommend it to you if you're on the fence about buying it. It is worth all of the money. Back to the palette, I'm just going in with the cooler tone bronzer and on a contour brush and I'm just going to be chiseling out my cheekbones just a little bit. Just wanted a little bit more definition but on my nose and under my bottom lip as well. And then I just take a uh, stippling brush just to blend out the contour so it's not too harsh. The blush, I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Love Flush, Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love. I've been loving this, it's one of my more recent purchases and I do not regret it at all. Back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm just gonna be taking Frappe on a pencil brush and putting that all under my lower lash line. Just really smoking it out a bit. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Mars, just a little touch on the pencil brush as well. And I'm just going to be putting that under there as well, blending out Frappe with it. Just taking a blending brush to blend that out further. And then back to the palette, I'm going to be taking Luna and Artemis on the same pencil brush just to dust a little under so I have a little hint of shimmer um, on my lower lash line as well. Now I'll be taking the Balm Mr. Right Now pencil in the shade Brine and I'm just going to be putting this on my waterline. It's just a nude color just to open the eyes up a bit more. I'll just be putting some mascara on my lower lash line. Er, not my lower lash line, my lower lashes. And I'm just taking the Tarte Eye uh, Lash Curler and I'm going to be curling my falsies a little bit. And then I'll be taking some mascara to blend them in with my real lashes. 
Pick Me and you get a little bit of uh, mascara on your nose or wherever, just let it dry and use a Q-tip and it will come right off. And now I'm just taking uh, Becca, uh, Becca's, I don't, what is it called? It's the liquid highlight in the shade Opal. Sorry, I'm so out of it today. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my beauty blender. I really love this. And if you want like an extra pop with your highlight, it's great to do a liquid and then set it with a, um, with a powder highlight. And I'm just going to put a bit down my nose and on my cupid's bow as well. For my powder highlight, I'm going to be using uh, Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. It's my favorite highlighter of all time, and I'm just going to put this everywhere, all over my face. You can never have too much highlight. If someone does say you have too much highlight on, then you should not be their friend, because there's never too much highlight. Today, I'm going to be taking ColourPop and Kathleen Light's collaboration in the shade Lumiere. And that's going to finish off this tutorial, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know my lighting was a little wonky, but I am still just learning, I'm trying to figure it all out, so please bear with me. Hope that you really like this look and I will be coming back with so many more videos. I have so many ideas and please subscribe so you don't miss out on them. I will see you in the next one. Bye.